Senator, what tool do you need to use? It seems like the Republicans are pretty much just doing it in doing the bill in themselves. Well, I do think their concept of cutting and capping Medicaid is not the way to go. I, I think throwing people off of health care, which would raise premiums for even people in the private market, is not a good idea. So, yes, but we do want this idea uh, really thought through and exposed. The notion that uh, you might not have the votes now, but you'll come back in a week and have the votes. Very problematic, so we definitely want to stop it. What do you see as uh, a solution? What would you like to, I mean, and being reasonable, recognizing that, you know, this is, a, you know, we got Republicans and Democrats, what could, ha what could be? Well, if you think about it, right now, the logic is we should pass this big cut, cut 15 million people off of Medicaid because we're concerned about the individual market. And yet these studies and analysis came out by uh, CBO and others that basically say that'll just raise premiums in the individual market. So you don't want to do that. So why not just either come back and say, okay, what do we want to do about the individual market? Let's just drop all this other stuff and just say, what do we want to do about the individual market? And what would you do about that individual market? What are the options? Well, I'm a big fan of what I call the Costco market, the model. When you, everybody knows you go to Costco, you buy in bulk, you get a discount. And and uh, we have had an experience in New York where they did just that. They basically bundled up 650,000 New Yorkers as part of an option called the basic or the essential plan. And they got great take up. They got great take up from the public because they knew it was affordable. And they had 13 different providers coming in to offer uh, coverage. So it can happen. So I would go back and say, okay, this 7% of healthcare, that's the individual market, what are the ideas that will help us? reduce costs and I think that we can come up with some ideas. Do you think the Republicans in wanting to cut Medicaid, you know, why do you think they're doing it? Do you think they don't want poor people to have medical care? Are they that cold-hearted or do you think, I mean, I mean well, somebody said Paul Ryan came up with a, you know, a college essay that this is where, you know, they needed to go. But I just see uh, result after result in my state, people telling me that, you know, the, the hospital community and others, that covering more people under Medicaid drove down pressure on price in the private market. So we want to continue that. We don't want to have the price of the private market go back up because all of this uncompensated care in individuals. All right, medical care has been rising in cost. It always has, and we expect it to rise further. So this is necessarily going to be more expensive for everybody as we proceed. Is there any sort of effort to try to figure out some way how to compensate our health care workers fairly, uh, but to sort of, you know, do something, put the lid on the price? I, I mean, I see so yeah. many things being reused in hospitals, I think, wouldn't it just be e cheaper to sanitize them again or something? I don't know. Well, there's a couple of philosophies that I, I try to look at. I mean, you want health care to be more in line with the rate of inflation, but maybe you would say it could be a little higher because there's so much technology involved and so many advents of new solutions, but you don't want to see double digits. And so what do we do to change the delivery system? So one of the great ideas that I have been successful in getting some uh, states who are represented by Republicans to take us up on is the notion of the nursing home care versus community-based care. So we have this rising number of Americans that are going to basically exacerbate the demand. And if we say that they're going to get their long-term care in a nursing home, we're going to pay three times the amount. So we said, why don't you try doing community-based services? Why don't you try to restructure your state program? And we incented that under the Affordable Care Act. So about 15 states have done it. When we did it in our state, we saved $2 billion dollars. So if we could get every state to move this way, we would be saving serious Medicaid money. Do you think you can work with President Trump on a health care bill? Do you see that? Well, we're definitely, I've talked to a lot of my colleagues here. We'll, I will say to him, you know, look at the essential plan in New York, talk to people in New York, talk to your friends in New York, the provider community, ask them what they've been able to achieve. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.